Welcome back. In this final video for this problem, we're going to determine if this subgroup of GL2C with eight elements is a solvable group. Now, later on in the course, we'll probably prove that if you have any group whose order is a power of a prime, that it's solvable. But we're not going to use that here. We're just going to do this by brute force. So we already saw that we had a normal subgroup, N, which had order 2 in our subgroup of order 8. And in fact, this n was equal to plus minus the identity element. All right, well, if I want to prove that q is solvable, then I need to build a subnormal series with abelian quotients. So I could always start by taking the identity on one side and say putting q on the other side. And well, I know that the identity subgroup is normal in any group. So this will be normal in my n. And uh, this n is, in fact, normal in q. Um, but I actually want to fit something else in between here. So we saw before that r squared was equal to negative i. And then, of course, r to the fourth was equal to i. And sitting in between, you had r cubed equal to minus r. And, of course, in the beginning, you have r. So this ends up giving us a subgroup of order 4 that contains i and negative i. i it contains n. So the subgroup generated by r has i, r, minus i, and minus r. So I can fit that in between n and q. And I claim that I'm going to have normality at both steps. And the reason why is, well, we could check it just directly, but I'm going to take the easy route here and look at the group orders. So I know that the index of n in R, so the index of n in R is 2. And we showed in class that every subgroup of index 2 is normal. So that means that n is normal in the group generated by R. Now, we actually knew n was normal in Q, so we also could have got it that way. Um, but now we go to the second normality we claim here, and we check again. Well, Q over R, that index, is also 2, right? 8 divided by 4. So again, we know that R is normal in Q. All right, so this is a subnormal series, and we just need to show then, for solvability, that all the quotients are abelian. But all the quotients, all the quotients have order 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 1 is 2. So all the quotients have order 2, and there is only one kind of group of order 2, namely cyclic groups. Therefore, all quotients are cyclic. In fact, if it had been any prime order, they would have been cyclic. But cyclic groups are abelian. So all the quotients are abelian, and that's the condition that we need for solvability.